See the game more clearly with high-definition spectacle lenses from Norville Opticians. This is Matt Kvesic then. Matt, obviously um, disappointing result, but it must have been great to have got some game time last Friday night against Exeter. Yeah, it was a bit frustrating. Um, obviously, you know, playing in front of you know King's Home and stuff like that, you want to go out and win those games. Friday night games are always good to play, play in. And I think, yeah, it was one of those ones that, Credit to Exeter, they probably played a better game in the end. I think they, they stuck in it for the 80 minutes. We didn't really play for 80 minutes. We, we had a good spell in that second half, but first half we were pretty poor, really. Um, so it's a bit frustrating in that respect, and to come away you know, not with the win is, is, is frustrating. But um, now we've sort of put it to bed and looking forward to it this week now. Presumably just absolutely raring to go against London Welsh. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Just, uh, yeah, obviously, like I say, take the frustration out and the learning out of last game take it into this week you know we've had a pretty good week training so Friday Friday um, which is good it means we've got a full week's training um, to get under our belts and stuff and prepare for the game look at London Welsh and uh, yeah could take it to them on the weekend obviously they're shipping points at a rapid rate of knots at the moment an opportunity for Gloucester but how much have you just got to go in there and do the basics first and foremost yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've we've tried obviously. You know, every week we'll look at the opposition and review what they're doing. But they're one of the teams at the moment that are hard to to say how good they are because, like us, they've had a lot of change. Um, you know, lot, lots of uh, lots of new players, coaching, and all this sort of stuff. So it's going to be tough for for us to sort of know how good they can be. I don't think they've reached their um, potential yet in terms of the first few games, and neither have we really. So. Um, you know, we've done as much review as we can on them, but we'll be focusing mainly on us and how how we go about, you know, dismantling their the defence and their attack in you know in the first sort of twenty minutes and making sure we play a disciplined game for sort of eighty minutes really, and then you know hopefully the result will look after itself after all that. I know no injuries are part and parcel of the game, but how disappointing and frustrating was it to miss the start of the season? Because I suppose in a way now you're playing a little bit of catch up. Oh, like it's really, really annoying. <laughs> um, yeah, really, really frustrating. Um, sort of not missed the beginning of the season for what well, happened. Never missed the beginning of the season. It's one of those things. Just for, it just like you say, you feel like you're playing catch up a little bit, you know. And it's it was one of those injuries that's going to keep niggling away for the next sort of you know few months and stuff like that. Whilst I sort of going to have to manage it and make sure I'm doing this and that. And it's just a real, real pain and. Um, you know, part and parcel of the game, like you say, but um, not ideal to, to do it in a pre-season friendly and, and miss the beginning. But hopefully be back now. And um, Obviously, like you say, we had a run out on the weekend. Felt pretty good, uh, not too bad. So, um, see how it goes this weekend. And if you're available, it gives gloss to that ideal balance with a specialist open side, doesn't it? Because, yeah, Ross Moriarty, he's come in and he'll try, but he's not a natural open side, whereas you, you do offer that. Um, yeah, I mean it's been tough on Ross, I think, because you know, it, you know, he, I think he'll openly say he's not a seven, he's not an out and out seven, um, and I thought he's done an excellent job. You know, he's he came off the bench, uh, had almost a full game against uh, Sale, was it Sale? I thought he played really, really well. Um, you know, carried well, tackled well. Similarly, again um, against Exeter as well. You know, he's puts himself about. You know, for his big guy, and he's he's good to have. So it's hard, it's hard on him, but I suppose you know, hopefully. You know, I can sort of come in, fill his boots a little bit, and make sure um, you know I play the best I can. You know, get some turnovers, carry well, defend well, and and go from there really. But you know, I think he's done a good job the last few weeks. Thank you. Good luck. All right.